hello guys no face cam in this video this will be the final video of the new and advanced line follower bot important stuffs will be linked in the description down below and whenever necessary i will narrate over this is how i arrange the components onto the mica or basically the chassis so you may apply your own design and stuff like that but you know just to show you where to set all those components or what to fit all those components without disbalancing and stuff like that you have to make sure about the balancing as well because this is a fast bot so this is how i arranged all the components in it but the switch and the whole tv4056 connections with the two series lithium ions just to watch the video in the card server. For the connections, as you can see, the Arduino connections are pretty much straightforward. Don't need to worry about anything. But for the motor controller, there is a twist. As you can see, the power pins, we have 12 volts, 5 volts and ground. So, if you put 12 volts in there or anything higher than 5, um, rather 6 volts, we will get 5 volts in that 5 volt pin because it has an inbuilt voltage regulator in it. So, what we will do, we will put our 8.4 volts through the through our 18650 cells or the TP46 modules rather and we will get 5 volts for our Arduino. You may think Arduino also have an inbuilt voltage regulator in it. That is, we can provide 8.4 volts into the Arduino as well into the V in pin but this option will significantly reduce the wiring mess and stuff like that so I figured out this is the way I can do it so it's up to you what to do depending on your situation this is the request I get from most of my viewers where's the code where's the code where's the code give us the code but for my own surprise I have shared the code not once not twice but thrice for the previous generation line follower you know the fat and beefy one but i don't know why people cannot open the link and also media fire has, media fire has a problem i think because people cannot open the link so from now onward i made a google drive folder basically where i will put all my line follower stuffs and will share the link with you guys so you can do whatever you want i mean not whatever you want you can just download them and see what's in there I'll share the code, the STL files for the for the wheel basically and other details like the dimensions, PDFs and stuff like that. Even the 3D model. And also I told you guys that I will discuss about the code which is literally very long. And also the code file I shared is not the final one as coding is a thing you know it's uh, continuously in development. It was stopped for about a year I guess because I have stopped working on this bot because I cannot find the wheels I needed because obviously I have to 3D print them but because of the pandemic and stuff like that I cannot go out. One of my friends have a 3D printer so I told him that I will just go and print some things with it but it was a you know it was just like one of those talks which never happened and the obvious reason is because of the pandemic. And that's why I literally gave up and stopped working on this bot, but you know, can still discuss about the code, probably in a live stream or something like that. So let me know in the comments down below, what should I do, like make a whole video which will be around, I guess, one hour long, because the code is actually very detailed and I have to discuss each and every part of it. Or maybe I'll just do a live stream, because I don't know, I literally don't know. And also I have not touched the code for one year or so, so I forgot certain things. I have to study it again. So till then, this is Malari Gore working out of syllabus and for today I am signing off.